Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Since Easter is right around the corner, I'm going to be doing a Draw With Me Easter edition. So feel free to grab your sketchbooks and draw along. So right now I am doing some rough sketches. The drawings I am doing right now will look a little bit too rough because I really just wanted to get the drawings over with so I could start on the new drawing. So for the drawing, I really wanted to include a bunny since it is almost Easter for me. I was thinking of drawing a girl hugging a bunny, but I didn't want it to be just like a random girl I came up with at the top of my head. I wasn't sure really who to draw, but I thought of my OC, which means original character, Ellie. In one of my videos where I talked about Ellie, I mentioned that if she could have any pet, she would probably want a rabbit. So I thought Ellie would be the perfect person to be holding a bunny. Let's talk about the drawing process. So right now I'm just using a regular pencil. I have seen people use colored pencils before, but I've never been uh, intrigued to use them because I don't know, I feel like you can't erase the colored pencils and when you color, I feel like they would still show. And I mean, there are erasable colored pencils that I've seen, but I don't know. I have stopped using colored pencils. I used to use them in my videos, but I don't really use them as much. So at the moment, you can see that I'm working on the next one, uh, the next drawing. It's um, basically the same sketch, but except it's like uh, flipped around. But I think the pose is pretty good. So right now I am doing a full body pose. I have not been doing full body poses lately. I've just mainly been like cutting off my drawings like at the legs so I don't have to draw them. I don't know why I haven't been. I just really haven't got around to it. And like it's so weird because like every time I start the drawing, I never have enough space to like draw the full body. Like no matter how much I shrink it, it'll like I'll never be able to draw the full thing, which is really weird. But I do want to work on doing full body poses. So if you guys want to see full me draw like a full body of someone, then please tell me in the comments. It will be really helpful. Now I am doing a quick sketch of a bunny, uh, just so I know what colors to use when I draw the bunny in the final picture. Uh, this one I think is very cute. The colors, they're like, it's like a spotted brown, and I think it would be cute, a cute bunny for Ellie to be holding. It's funny because the song that's playing right now um, is actually called Little Bunny by Daystar, which is um, very appropriate for the drawing I am doing. So here is the finished rough sketch page. Now I have an idea of what I am going to be drawing. So let's get started on the actual drawing. I just finished inking the drawing off screen, so this is what it looks like. I think it looks really cute, and now I'm going to get started on the coloring. One thing I always have a habit of doing is coloring in the skin first. I don't know why, but I always color in the skin first because I feel like it's the biggest part of the coloring, and it's super fun to do. The first thing I usually do is I draw in the main color of the skin I'm going to do. And then what I do is I shade it in with a darker color and then I blend those colors together. And if I want to add more detail, I can just put an even darker color and then blend those together. Then I put blush and I put shine and it always turns out really nice. I really like doing the skin and shading. I also like shading. I'm just um, shading in the drawing right now so it can look good. 
um, because, I don't know, I feel like without shading, the whole drawing will have more of a cartoony look, like, it won't be as detailed as I want it to be, and I feel like the shading, um, it gives the details that I'm looking for. It's also very satisfying shading everything in. So I'm just shading in the arms, neck, all parts that would normally have shadows. I mean, I don't know if in real life people would have shadows everywhere, but that's how I like um, coloring everything in. Now I am just doing the, the blush on the nose and cheeks and the mouth. Uh, they're very simple to do, so it doesn't take that long. I remember almost about a year ago, I had drew a different Easter drawing on YouTube. It was where I was teaching how to draw uh, an Easter bunny and a chick. I can't believe it has been over a year since I've started YouTube. I have come a long way and met so many amazing people. And thank you so much for getting me to where I am today. Um, 400 subscribers is a lot and I couldn't be more grateful. So thank you. Now I'm going to get started on the bunny. I really think the bunny looks really cute with all those brown spots I put on it. it I think it looks really nice and I also like the how the yellow ribbon I put matches with the flower on Ellie's head. I think they go really well together. I put pastel colors on Ellie's dress. The pastel colors match with like Easter colors, so I thought it would go nice. Uh, the dress she is wearing is like a dress for spring and it has yellow, pink, and you will see blue later on in this drawing. I put pastel bracelets of flowers on Ellie to add to the pastel colors I put on her dress, and I think they match really well together. Now I am starting on her skirt. The skirt matches with the pink and the yellow, and I think they all look really nice together. So right now I am coloring in the flowers and the grass. I only drew two flowers because I didn't really see any more space to put them. Coloring in the grass was very fun and very satisfying to do. Um, what I did was I mixed uh, different greens together to make the grass look more realistic. The, the flowers will are going to be pink and yellow so it can match the pastel thing I'm going for. And overall, I think the grass turned out nice and so did the flowers.
I added a sunset mainly because I did not have the right blue for the sky and the blues I did have were all dried up and the only one that would have worked was still a bit too dark. But I think the sunset went well and it was very fun to color in and make a gradient out of them. The colors I used were a orange, light orange, a darkish yellow, and then yellow. The orange, light orange, I meant was running out of ink so it was a little hard to uh, keep, keep the ink going but it worked out in the end. The last thing I'm going to do for this drawing is add some clouds to the sunset. I think the clouds look really pretty on the sunset, and what I used to make the clouds were Posca markers. Lastly, I added my channel name at the bottom, and we're done with the drawing. And here is the finished piece. I really like how this drawing turned out. I think it was so cute with Ellie holding that bunny. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and I hope you have a happy Easter. Bye!